Welcome back. Hi. <laughs> my name is Julia Cho. And my name is Laura Spencer. And you, and here we are with the... Look Back Diaries. Da, 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 you can da, 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 support da, da, me on da, da, Patreon. Da, 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 da. Me as in Ashley Clements. Um, yeah, support that Patreon. Uh, keep watching. I uh, got a lot more fun episodes in store for you. Um, so, uh, excuse me. Uh, excuse uh, me. Uh, oh, you even oh. think you're just going to take over my show? I, I thought that's what you asked us to do. I thought. Yeah, that was I, what the email said. Yeah. Uh, no, I said, please be a guest on my show. I mean, oh. wow. Um, but wow. I, I thought okay. that opening was pretty top notch. I thought it was to, really uh, solid. We should get paid for to keep something that. like that. Yeah. yeah. We can do more. Um, we yeah. Can do a um, more well, have your agent call me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. All right. So why did we do that? Uh, because it was because it was great. It was should we try it one more time? Do you want another take? I think we. Uh, no, I'm gonna stick with that one because we are talking about episode 15, the first episode that Lizzie Bennett is not in. Oh. <gasps> it's one of my very favorite episodes, and that is because. I was able for the first time to experience what it was like to watch the show as someone who wasn't in it. I had read the script, but I was not in the room when you filmed. None of us were really in the room. The room was too we small could, yeah, to have any no extra really people hang out and watch. So it was very much a surprise. And I, I felt for the first time this experience of like, oh my God, this show is so cute and funny <laughs> and like, they're so adorable and I, I like I want to hang out with them and I I understood for the first time what people saw in the show and somebody at the time it might have been you Laura I was saying that to somebody and uh, and they said back let's say it was you it's a better story so then Laura said to mm -hmm. me mm -hmm. that that's what other people feel like when they're watching the show well, that, that's like something what I experienced saying. watching the two of you be so precious. <laughs> That was really heartwarming to me because I was like, oh, like, this is a good show. I just needed to have myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it is a good show. I mean, I'm sure you I also... mean, maybe it's better if I just am always out of it. <laughs> I'm sure, Ashley, you appreciated not having to learn, like, a, just pages and pages of lines. Exactly. Or at least, at least a little yeah. bit. You got a little bit of a break, it was, too. It's so weird to have a break in the middle, too. <laughs> I was like, what am I supposed to do? You're just like, I'm I'll right. I'll be in my trailer. <laughs> we didn't have a trailer. No. <laughs> what if Ashley was the only one with the trailer? trailer. <laughs> that on the screen. It's in my rider. Sorry. Um, <laughs> and we're all like with our own wardrobe. Like, what? <laughs> Ironically, if I had had a trailer, I would never have had time to go to it. True. So it would have just sat there empty. All the, all all the worse. Yeah. And you guys would have been like, can, I, can I sit in your trailer? And I'd be like, no, that's no. not my trailer. <laughs> You're like, do you see the name? <laughs> Sorry. Do you see the star? <laughs> that's right. We were just stuck in that room pretty much the whole time. <laughs> With no air conditioning, correct? Oh, yeah. Those no, there was air conditioning. They had to turn it off for But it was too sound. loud. <clears throat> yeah, Ooh. which was, look, We'll talk about it when we yeah. get to those July August episodes, and you can yeah. see the sweat. I yeah, <laughs> run love out love looking back on those episodes. There's just like a nice glow, like damp, yeah, so the nice sheen. Yes, all of us. absolutely. Yeah. You know, I think I think MK does have like wet <laughs> no. things at some point. It's a good thing Wes is is so hot because like he literally is like listening, it's running down his face. It's like ninety degrees in there. I was, it was nuts. Uh, but we're getting ahead of ourselves. Oh. I have a tendency to do that on the show because today we get to watch this precious episode, shall we? Hi. So this is the iconic Jane look. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Is this the first appearance of the Jane milkmaid? Milk uh -huh. mm -hmm. I love it. You would just like do a tutorial on that for people, right? I ended up people doing that for the. I, I did that maybe toward the end of the series. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This, Laura, I feel like this is an actual top that I got from you, like in real life. No? Like, oh, it is for video. Like a I never owned top. that top, but I really? can see where you would think that. I yeah. definitely wore that like in homage to you 
like to Jane Bennett because it was, and I, I was like, oh, cute. how cute. They have me up at the very matching point trim. There's like a similar yes. trim to both our tops. Yes, this is yeah. a very well wardrobe um, episode. Good job, Julia. Good Thank job. you so much. Because, you know, this isn't really like a Charlotte type necessarily. So I thought it right. was like a nice aesthetic tie-in to Jane. Yep. <laughs> Your face. See, the sa same this equivalent of excellence in introduction. <laughs> <laughs> Stumbling through it. Written by Another Rachel Kylie. Rachel Kylie episode. This is a this is a great Rachel Kylie episode. Um, As they all are. The show for me. I really really loved this. I loved this episode because I got to work with Julia and also, I mean, oh my gosh, this cosplay. <laughs> and again, we did not cast these roles. No. So you, you know, just made this up. I still, I mean, I still cringe a little bit only because, like, I don't think this is a proper Jessica Jade Andres impersonation. Well, but she it didn't, really, she, she, we did we had not met her. We hadn't so. met her. We didn't know who was going to play. Um, and and is, this, is this a proper Daniel Vincent Court, you know, impersonation? It's no. dead on. It's perfect. <gasps> but, yeah, this, some, some incredible gifts come from this episode <laughs> i don't even know where these glasses and scarf came from that i feel like I'm it was sure the last minute like who has something here yeah, like, yeah. Kind of cool and chic <laughs> here are glass sunglasses and here's a scarf but this is fun to watch because oh, i but there's the eyes and that is a line yes. from pride and prejudice that is a line uh, iconic look the look the look um <laughs> But this was fun because this was the first time as Jane, I was starting to kind of like have fun in front of the camera and like, right. I just love that Rachel wrote that in the complication of like doing this episode and like without, without Lizzie and then mm -hmm. getting into it, playing the characters and it's, it's, it's a yeah. very well Yeah, it's a lot of layers. Lot is, of this the, is this the only time we got wait, to perform wait. together? Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. There's the fun line. Uh, <laughs> that seemed very Daniel Vincent Gore to me. Funny enough. It, well, I mean, look, we'll I, get I would there. Him that he, I would believe him that he watched these. And he did. Of, he did. No, we'll get there. But like, he's did. one of the only Darcys who clearly understood that he was fitting into something. Yes. Um, one of the only people yes. who auditioned. Um, he is the only yeah. Darcy. Yeah. <laughs> I was just like chastised by Jane. Look, darn Jane. <laughs> Well, and it's so fun for for these two to have a, a relationship and, and friendship, right? Right, because <laughs> they, they are respectively so close to Lizzie, but in very different ways. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah, just, definitely. So for them to team up, that was a lot of fun. For sure. Lizzie's the only one who has a friend on the show. In this world, yes. Right? Like, you both have sisters that you're close to. Mm. Um, and and those sisters have spinoffs that you appear on. But no one has a friend other than me, and I have one. And it's... You just need the one because that's, you know, Look, the one that counts. I'm sure you have other acquaintances. It, it's about the quality. And, um, you know, in real life, like, honestly, take, I would take, like, these incredible close relationships over having way more friends. Absolutely. I mean, it's Lizzie's blog. I'm sure, I'm sure Jane has, like, beloved colleagues and... <laughs> I think, Charlotte. for the record, I think Jane has friends. Okay. Anyway, I'm sure friends. That, who doesn't like Jane? Sure it's just funny guys. that. But I also believe that Jane is also friends with Charlotte. Like, yes, I, no. I I, and, that and we get to see that like, here. Yeah. 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 Exactly. yeah because like, also, but like, if Charlotte's been my best friend since uh, right. we were fetuses, then she's, she's basically part of the family. Like, she's basically she is part basically of the a sister. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. You know, and we're the ones who are like the same age, so we went mm -hmm. to school together. But she's been around. She's which basically is then another kind sister. of ironic that we didn't um, make Maria a part of our group. She was doing her own thing, you know. Yes, yeah, but, but it's, I mean, yeah. like, we, we see Lizzie actively exclude Lydia, but she right. has Jane to be like, no, all the sisters. Mm -hmm. like, you gotta mm -hmm. include them all. Some sisters are closer than others, and that's fine. Right. It's just funny. Well, because uh, actually at this point, Maria Lou, like, didn't exist. Right, that was another, like, surprise. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you uh, also, oh, and, and Kitty's a cat. 
Um, <laughs> sure. Uh, sure. So, uh, but didn't we know that from the beginning? That Kitty was a cat? Yeah. No, we added the concept of including Mary and Kitty because there was fan backlash to the of second like, episode. Kitty? The Pride and Prejudice fans were were the others uh there are five bennett sisters and so they came up with creative ways to include them just as kind of like fun little fan things Bree was such a brilliant casting choice as mary Mm -hmm. and and really talented in her audition Mm -hmm. and was was super super funny and you know rosie was definitely the best the best cat (laughs) that we auditioned for kitty extensive (laughs) casting process for every single role the longest casting process was Mm -hmm. so many so many tapes to go through um (laughs) Oh, we nailed it. A lot of people a lot of assumed that my cat was <laughs> Kitty Bennett, but um, but that's that's Mary Kate's cat. Mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. it made sense because Kitty follows Lydia around in the world. Yeah. So then mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It brilliant. It, it, yeah. it was brilliant. It all worked it was out. Brilliant. brilliant like this episode and you, you <laughs> brilliant performances. No, I mean it's so fun because like so Laura basically had like my impression of Darcy to go off of, but we see her like you you took what I did, so it's believable that we're both doing an impression of the same person, but from this very different perspective, and in doing so, the audience gets more perspective on Darcy. It's yeah. the first time we really see him be, like, likable, relatable, sympathetic, <laughs> because we've just been getting this very biased right. view from someone who hates this person, but is also obsessed with this person. Oh. Julia, you just had to create Caroline out of whole cloth. Like, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that, she had a Twitter account, I think, that was like very into coffee. That's right. That's right. Like, I think she and yeah. Darcy would like tweet about pour over coffee. Yeah, the one thing this is very Which is obnoxious, like, to be fair. This is this is so minute, but like I wish instead of um, skewing my uh, tone lower, I should have gone higher. Again, not knowing that it, we were going to end up with Jessica, but I feel like that would have made more sense i still feel like it, it was such a works. yeah it could have gone either way yeah because but yes um i i hear what you're saying it works with everyone's level of impressions right exactly yeah. lizzie's impressions of you know uh, sitting right next to to jane sometimes and going like i'm jane bennett <laughs> like it's not a good impression uh and so you know like just the overall idea of like caroline thinks she's too good for things is mm-hmm, mm-hmm. like i could see Jessica doing that. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So. The Caroline vibes were definitely there. I think so. I think you're giving yourself too hard of a time. And I, I would really <laughs> love the impression. Yeah. No, I think it's all great and very delightful. I'm just, I'm trying to give you credit for the fact that you just had to make up something out of nowhere. So, I appreciate that. Yeah. That I did. Jane as Darcy became a beloved figure in uh, the fandom. <laughs> and so, uh, and I think one of, Absolutely. I mean, maybe the most used GIF is, I have done the research, but uh, it's super important is up there. It's very much up there. Super important. It's, 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 it's a good GIF. Important. Let's see what the comments have to say. Oh. Oh. Top comments. Seven years ago, Anna Carolina. There it is. Carolina, mm-hmm. are you fake testing? It's super important. There ha. it is. Top comment. Ah, yep. Because... <laughs> And and next is also seven years ago, Misha Lecter, but it's kind of the truth, dramatized. Love to see Jane's scarier side come out when it I comes love to that, defending her sister. I love that sisters. Misha was scared of Jane there. Ooh. Terrifying. <laughs> but but look, they, these just repeat. It's fake testing, really? super, fake texting, super important, dramatized. Like, it's just, ah, but Nina Javier, five years ago, says Jane is a teddy bear, and if you mess with her sisters or family or any of the people oh. she loves, she instantly turns into a scary mama bear. Apart from Snickerdoodles, this is probably the only time I saw her raise her voice. She's such a sweet soul. And, look, I mean, people just keep repeating yeah. lines that are, uh, and here we go. Daniela, We've got a Charlotte tomorrow, six Caroline. years ago, is perfection. Oh. Charlotte's Caroline Thank is you perfection. So you heard it. And there are 445 oh, likes. Oh, my God. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Also, um, five years ago, Carol Janney Lazar says, Jane, as Darcy, is my favorite costume theater tbh so yeah i mean that costume theater stuff was like it grew to be such a big component of the show oh my gosh yeah it's such a fun part of it yeah (laughs) 
Very much so. Oh my goodness, four months ago, Dear Snap says to be 13 and discovering this for the first time. It's been almost 10 years and watching this still brings me a lot of comfort. Aww. Can't thank LBD cast and crew enough for being one of the best things about being 13. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. I think what they're saying is that they're 23 now. <laughs> That's they what they're discover saying. This they at 13. For the first time when they were 13. Not that they watched it when they were three and now they're 13. <laughs> Although it could happen, who knows? I mean, this, it's like, the, the internet truly is forever. It's beloved, it's a beloved episode because, uh, because you guys crushed it as well. That <laughs> uh, was fun. I remember having an absolute blast doing that with you, Julia. We were kind of thrown into this whole environment experience and we were still just getting to know each other still. Exactly. Too. Yeah. 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 <laughs> we were talking about that, Ashley and I have just like, that we were all, you know, we started to hang out with one another to really build this bond that was convincing, you know, because it's such a key element of the show, this mm -hmm. bond between all of these women. And um, it's, you know, it's imperative that we had, you know, yeah. chemistry together and had that actual time spent together to be able to show that on camera. You can yeah. only rely on like some natural chemistry and that, you know. So yeah. it's cool that we all got along so well, that we wanted to spend time together, that we wanted to work together and make the scenes as best as possible. And yeah. Yeah. Well, you two were a delight. And uh, thank you so much for joining me uh, to look back on the Look Back Diaries. <laughs> thank you for having us. Thanks and for having us. We're out. I was like, should I do the theme song or are you going to plug that in later? <laughs> <laughs>